What's up guys, welcome back to Pokemon Ash Gray. In the last episode, we... Yeah, it took us about 10 minutes to figure out Koka's Gym. I believe that's all we actually did. Uh, we talked to some people over here. We ran over here, I believe. I don't remember though. But yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and talk to this chick. Um, you little sidewinder. Yeah, okay. Oh shit, we need to find a place to heal up. No biggie. Alright, so, don't tell me you don't know this whole area is a Pokemon Reserve. Oh, wow. It's against the law to capture Pokemon here. Have you ever heard of the big... P Pokemon Ranch? Owned by the... Laramie family, L Laramie family. This is Big P Ranch, and I'm Laura Lamory. Whatever. We're having a big race tomorrow to see who has the best Pokemon, and I'm entering with my pony to. Howdy, Lara. I'm gonna win the Pokemon race tomorrow. Just you, just get ready to lose, Lara. So yeah, that doesn't yeah. I don't know, his Doug Trio attacked the Ponyta, the Ponyta jumped and hit her, so yeah. Mar Marm was injured when Ponyta was spooked by her Dorio, Do whatever. With my- <laughs> why am I talking like that, dude? Uh, with my arm hurt, I won't be able to enter the race tomorrow with Ponyta. What will I do? Okay, so, bam. It seems like Ponyta trusts you. Maybe you could enter the race for me and ride Ponyta for me. Please give it a try. I'll be waiting for you inside the ranch. Okay, so. Um. I don't know if I'll win this race or not. I've done it before and I think I actually lost. So, bam, you ready to enter the big Pokemon race with Ponyta? Even though it's not tomorrow, sure, why not? Alright, bam, good luck. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared! But let's go ahead and try this. Ready? Go! Yeah, I done lost it, I can tell you that much. Looks like the heat could, couldn't could beat us, heh. Bam lost the race. Yeah. I'm gonna try to win this race, but we'll see what happens. Damn it, turn. Awesome, looks like we won. What an incre incredibly, uh, what an incredible upset. Bam and Ponyta wins this Pokemon challenge. Congratulations, you are this year's Pokemon challenge champion. Let's give a big hand for its trainer, Laura, Lam <laughs> Laura and for the <laughs> winning rider, Bam. Thank you, Bam, you proved yourself to be a fantastic Pokemon trainer. As my thanks for your help, please take this. Quick claw. Awesome. So, I guess you can do it as many times as you want until you win it. So, yeah. Alright, and I know something's going to happen up here. Just, well, that's not what I was expecting, but oh well. Um, five years ago, we lost our boy Tommy in the wilderness. <laughs> we were told that he's been seen with some wild Kangaskhan. If you'd find him, please tell him we're looking for him. Please help me find my baby boy. Alright, something's gonna happen within right here. 
Freeze, drop that Pokeball. My name is Jenny, Safari Ranger. You're under arrest for Pokemon poaching. Didn't you know this whole area is a reserve? Well, I guess I can let you off with a warning this time. Just don't try to catch any Pokemon here and look out for poachers. A vast virus database has been updated. Thank you for rudely interrupting a vast. But yeah, I wasn't trying to catch any Pokemon there. Thank you very much. And I'm not exactly sure where to find their boy Tommy. I guess we'll find out soon <laughs> soon enough. But I need to find a Pokemon Center. Is it Tommy? No, that is not Tommy. But we we're in Saffron City, I believe. Um Or Fuchsia City, that's what I meant. I know where I'm at sometimes. Um Something about the warden. Something about, what's about the warden. Something about the safari zone. Um, all this is interesting and whatnot, but I want to find my... Yeah. Get out of my way, you little shit. Talking about... Everybody's in here talking about the safari zone. I don't care about the safari zone right now. I want the... Yeah, I want this right here. And, yeah, uh, I guess this is the move deleter, and I didn't mean to do that. Um, do I even have rocks mess yet? I guess not. I don't have any kind of hammer or anything. Um, another fishing guru type dude, so let's get a good ride, and shut up dude, and then we're gonna go, did that say 8 max repels? I don't know if there's any Pokemon back there or whatnot, but whatever. Um, uh, let's go check, no, let's go check out the safari zone. Sorry for the, all the hyper speeding and whatnot, but whatever. Hold on, you want to get shot, kid? Then listen up. I'm the caretaker of Safari Zone. For a payment of $500, you can visit the Safari Zone. You only get a certain amount of time and 30 special Safari Balls, and you can't use any Pokemon. Break any of these rolls, and my Thunderbolt revolver will burn you. Got it? So you want to play? Yeah, let's go in. And if you guys if you guys watch the anime series, if you're in America and you don't use the internet all that much to watch any TV shows or whatever, then you probably don't know that is actually a episode that was banned in the United States because it it was considered too violent. And I believe there was a small section in this episode that was banned where Meowth was dressed up and had a little mustache that made him look like uh adolf hitler and i enjoyed the episode even though i had to read the subtitles because it was still in japanese but it was a pretty interesting episode i i'm not gonna say it was my favorite but it was pretty fucking awesome and funny at the same time um or the episode wasn't exactly banned in the united states just that ep that section of it I don't know, because they still have the Safari Zone episode. It's the same episode where Ash catches, like, 30, 40 Tauros or whatever. Well, I guess it's only 30 because you only get 30 Safari Balls, but whatever. Um, I haven't seen... There we go. Let's go ahead and try to catch a Tauros. No. Nope. Let's throw another ball. There we go. We got a Tauros. Not that I'll, <laughs> not that I'll ever use it, I don't think, but uh, there's another Tauros. I believe they made it pretty much like the game, like the highest rate Pokemon in here is a Tauros. And there's an item down there, I forgot, but oh well. Um, yeah, here's all the Kangaskhan, there's Tommy. You Pokemon or people? My name Tomo, I protect Kangaskhan. What? My mama and papa look for me? Mama Kangaskhan, my mama. I have people mama too, I go see. Yeah. 
Come here, Kangskhan. I want to fucking catch you. Erg. Of course, I can't battle them. <laughs> but, uh... Let's go ahead and keep exploring before we go out get out of here. Uh... If anybody watches my Leaf Green series that I was doing, right here is where I just sat here and did this for hours and hours and hours trying to run into Chansey. Hey, what do you know? Kang's coming right off the bat. But we're not going to catch it, of course. But yeah, if you sit here and do this, well, it says I have uh, 180 steps left. I can sit here and walk in a circle and... Or not really walk in a circle, spin in a circle. Run into wild Pokemon... Come on. I want to catch a Kangaskhan, but I highly doubt I'll be successful at it. Let's try to feed it some. And it fled. But yeah, go back and look. It's still at 180 steps. So you can sit here all day and do this shit repeatedly. Um. But yeah, uh, let's continue up here. Steel wing. Damn it. Uh, I'm using up all my steps and I want to get to a specific spot real quick. Uh, yeah, that's right. Haha, <coughs> <coughs> we're going to capture that rare Dratini. We'll use this special Team Rocket Underwater Electric Bomb to make the water Pokemon get belly up. Then we'll capture Dratini for sure. Just try to stop us. Alrighty then. Um, let's go ahead and Thundershot Bolt it. Thundershot Bolt. Thundershot Bolt. Yeah, that's what it, that's what we're going to call it from now on. Thundershot Bolt. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch out to... Oh shit. Primate, I suppose. Uh um. Oh well shit. Uh low kick? No. Uh I really need to level up Squirtle Bulbasaur and Charmander. I really do. Uh let's try to wing attack. It's a little better. The fuckers keep poisoning me. Alrighty then. You never know who wins until the round ends, twerp. The electric bomb will turn the tables. And here comes the warden. He's just floating around. He's not actually walking. No, if that bomb explodes, all the Pokemon in the lake will be... It's a legendary sh Dragonair. It's throwing the bomb back at Team Rocket. We're blasting off again. This is the same Dratini I met all those years ago. You've grown so well. You saved the Dratini. Thank you. Please take this as a reward for your help. Thank you. Thanks to you, I was able to see my beloved Dragonair again one last time. Now, I'm even more determined to protect it from greedy trainers. And if you sit here, um, I believe if you sit here and fish all day, you'll probably never ever uh, get a Dragonair or Dratini. No, no matter what rod you have. But yeah. And right there we get something though too. But yeah, our time is up. Alright, so let's go see what that item or that whatever was we got. Dragon Claw. Okay, so let's make our way back down and around here and let's heal up real quick. Well, I don't know what the hell that was about, but. Uh, we got some kind of medicine. I guess that's from the... From down here. But yeah. Um, we're at the bike route. There's... Not really that many trainers here, I don't think. Maybe 
six, seven all together. But yeah. Um. Shit. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go back up here. We're gonna heal up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off. So, if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and in the next episode, we'll be taking on that little bike route down there. See you guys next time.